Hello, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to another project. So, uh, as you see in this one, I'm going to try to make a dragon skeleton. I'm only gonna make half the skeleton and uh, glue it onto a plate. And the reason why I decided to go for that solution is uh, because I want to maintain the strength of the sculpture. I was afraid it would break apart if I were to make it uh, like an entire piece, even though it would be pretty cool. So uh, there's a big reason why I go for this project in the first place, and that is that I have a lot of small pieces of wood lying around in the workshop that uh, could come to, come to good use here. So uh, now the design is almost finished and uh, we are soon ready to head into the workshop. And uh, I'm actually really excited to start uh, working on this project. So as you can see here, I printed out uh, three copies of the design, and that is to use as uh, both stencil and uh, as a reference for the carving. And I decided to start uh, with making the rib cage because uh, I thought it was a good place to start. So here's the piece of wood I'm gonna use for that. It's uh, a little too thick as it is right now, so I'm just gonna cut it up on my bandsaw to the thickness I think should be right. And uh, a good thing about the wood I'm using here is that it's really white. It's uh, called birch. And uh, that's a really good fit for making a skeleton, I think. So as I was carving this part, uh, I realized that I was about to make a big mistake, and that is that the bones below this part would go straight through the throat. So I just had to throw away this piece and uh, design a new one, and I'm soon gonna make a really simple drawing to uh, uh, explain to you how the next uh, version of it is gonna look.
part is a uh, different color than the rest of the dragon. And uh, the lazy part of me says, uh, just use it, it's gonna be fine. But uh, the part of me that I don't have says that I should uh, make a new one. So uh, I'm gonna listen to uh, the part of myself that I don't have and uh, make a new one. Oh! <laughs> so back again, uh, now I have made the white one. And uh, yeah, you can see it's a very noticeable difference. So uh, let's go ahead now and make the legs. Yeah. Alright, so I skipped ahead a bit and I have oiled both the skeleton and the plate with two coats of Danish oil, which is there. And uh, yeah, I usually give them four coats of oil, but uh, I don't want a glossy finish, so I think the finish right now is looking as I want it. So now, let's glue the skeleton onto the plate. 